Hello everyone, Samuel Bernou here. Today I wanted to show you the add-on real scale reference that I made to help you model to scale. This is really simple. Uh, often the model you download from the web are way of scale. For example, 90% uh, of the time when you download from BlendSwap, uh, you have a model that is huge. And that, I think that's because people uh, often forget that uh, the default cube is actually two meters high. So let's dive into it. So in the view uh, tabs, you have uh, the real scale ref panel. I'm going to collapse the other. You click on import reference and there it is. So you have a couple more buttons now. For example, you can put a range of uh, what you want to display. So for example, if I'm going to start to move the height, so I'm going to display more of a, a minimal in the minimal range and here in the upper range. I put it the default cube also so you can uh, you can appreciate the size. So if you want, for example, to have a uh, model something with uh, you'd like to have the screen as a reference, you can just select uh, all this, just press G. Uh, it's already constrained in the x-axis, so you just put it in the center like this, and then uh, you're gonna trim the min and max so you can just see this and after this manipulator can help you like uh, put it the way you want in the scene after this you can do some stuff like uh, hide the reference hide the manipulator lock the reference so you you can click on it um, uh, toggle to wire mode toggle x-ray mode this means that if there is a cube in front you're gonna keep seeing it. Uh, you can measure, uh, toggle the wire of the measure, hide the measure, and that's about it. But the purpose is just to help you have a reference of a good scale model. Uh, next, what you can do is, of course, delete the reference once you're finished. By the way, when you import reference, you're gonna have like uh, this collection, and you don't want to put anything in this collection. It won't be deleted if you delete the reference, but uh, this collection is only here for the the uh, the add-on stuff, so you can forget about it. Um, here I click the delete reference, and the next thing I want to talk about is the open reference folder. Uh, that's gonna get in the add-on sources the blend file where the reference actually came from. So now we are in the source folder where the reference are stored. Uh, you have here a quick uh, info about how this file works and the credits of the models I didn't make myself to include in this library. You have a new tab called Real Scale Ref Organizer in the panel of the, si the sidebar of the 3D view. This is uh, kind of an internal add on because it is launched from this text file. So if you don't see this tab automatically launched, maybe it's because the register have failed because in the save load preference you don't have auto run Python scripts. If you don't see this tab, just find the model folder organizer in the text editor and click on run script and it's gonna show up there. So now what does it do? The purpose is to help you uh, make an object as a reference and add it to this line. So make sure your object is made of one. For example, if I add a sphere and I have several parts, um, like another UV sphere, and so make sure it's made of one. So I control J to join join it. So I'm gonna do it with this size. Apply scale, uh, facing Y axis. My model is already facing the Y axis. Uh, is in the RSR reference collection. All the models that are going to be linked are in the RSR reference, so I'm going to put it there. And I think I'm going to call it SREF like I did for the other. It's to avoid conflicts with names that uh, are going to be in the, in the end file where you link the reference. How to include this in the line? Uh, really simple. Uh, maybe you have it up here and if the pivot point is uh, right at the bottom you can click once your object is selected 
on select object to on ground it's going to put it here then you select our reference with this button and click on reorder object by size and this is going to place it uh, filter and sort it uh, by uh, height so you can delete all the measure with this button and add measure to selected objects with this button then the placement of in the y is up to you because uh, you can maybe you want like for the pivot point to be right in the front of your sphere uh, or maybe you want it right in the center uh, then you can customize like if you want to link and already have a wire toggle for the reference or uh, also for the measure and if you don't want measure at all you can delete it and that's it once you have saved you can import your reference in any other blend and your new models will show up to help you model to scale. So I hope this little add-on will help you model without bothering too much with uh, dimension. And if you want to know how to install an add-on, I made a comprehensive guide linked in the description below. And if you want to support me, there is also a link for this there. See you guys for another add-on.